Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about alkeptone urea. Alkeptone urea, also called as black urine disease or black bone disease, is one of the four disorders originally defined as inborn error of metabolism by Archibald Garrett. Alkeptone urea is an autosomal recessive disease because of deficiency of an enzyme called as homogentisic acid dioxygenase. This deficiency is caused by mutation in a gene called as AGD homogentisic acid dioxygenase. Now let's talk a little bit about the details of pathophysiology. Tyrosine is an amino acid. It is present in our diet in a variety of things such as beef, pork, fish, chicken, tofu, milk, cheese, beans, nuts, eggs and whole grains. This tyrosine is metabolized in the liver. Tyrosine is converted into 4-hydroxyphenyl pyruvate by an enzyme called as tyrosine transaminase. 4-hydroxyphenyl pyruvate is converted by an enzyme called as 4-hydroxyphenyl pyruvate hydroxylates into homogentisic acid. Now the next step is what we are really interested in in understanding the pathogenesis of alkeptone urea. Homogentisic acid is converted by an enzyme called as homogentisate 1,2 dioxygenase into malyl acetoacetate. This enzyme homogentisate 1,2 dioxygenase is defective in alkeptone urea, hence leading to the accumulation of homogentisic acid. We do not see symptoms of alkeptone urea until second and third decade of life because of this homogentisic acid is rapidly excreted by the kidney into the urine. So in this duration, if the urine is allowed to stand for some while or turn alkaline, it will turn bluish black. Hence the earliest sign of alkeptone urea is the bluish black staining of diapers. Because of the rapid excretion of homogentisic acid, there will be slow accumulation of homogentisate in the tissues. There will be enzyme-mediated conversion of homogentisic acid in a, into a polymer called as benzoquinone acetoacetate. This molecule will accumulate in the specific tissue and this molecule which is slate grey or bluish black in colour gives rise to uchronosis which is defined as bluish discoloration of any tissue. Do you know ochre actually means yellowish not bluish black and is named after yellowish discoloration seen on the microscope. The tissue macroscopically appears bluish grey because of a light scattering phenomena known as Tyndall effect. This molecule will deposit in certain organs. When benzoquinone acetoacetate will accumulate in the joint uh, spaces, it will lead to ochronotic arthritis. Most patients present with the lower back pain between 25 and 40 years of age. This progresses to kyphosis and often ankylosis. Other patients present with arthritis in the hip or knee joint. Many patients require a joint replacement and some become bedridden. The arthritis often present in the third or fourth decade of life with chronic back pain and stiffness. The radiographs show flattened and calcified intervertebral discs. Later involvement of the large peripheral joint can resemble rheumatoid arthritis clinically but osteoarthritis radiographically. When this pigment deposits in the dermis of the skin, this leads to uchronosis, melanin-like pigmentation of the skin, which may be seen from the age of 30 years onwards. The cartilage of the ear develop grey or bluish black discoloration and feel thick and inflexible. Pigment may also be seen in the buccal mucosa and nails. Brown or grey deposits also appear in the sclera, typically midway between the medial canthus and the cornea. There may be dusky discoloration of the skin, especially over the cheek, forehead, axilla and genital region. Patients also develop calcification of coronary arteries and kidney stones. How will you diagnose a patient with alkeptone urea? Alkeptone urea can be diagnosed by detection of homogentisic acid in the urine using gas chromatography mass spectroscopy. Spectrophotometer quantification shows two orders of magnitude elevation above the normal of homogentisic acid. Screening for the mutations can be performed with PCR. Spinal radiography, like I said before, reveals disc degeneration combined with dense calcification, particularly in the lumbar area. Chest radiography is advised to assess for the possible involvement of aortic or mitral valve. Electrocardiography may be advisable with particular attention directed at any signs of myocardial insufficiency. 
On histopathology, uchronotic pigment is seen in the sections of the dermis stained with H and E stain. And this pigment is yellowish brown or ochre in color. Hence, like I said before, the name ochronosis. Medical therapy is used to ameliorate the rate of the pigment deposition. This minimizes articular and cardiovascular complication in later in life. Reduction of phenylalanine and tyrosine in diet has reportedly reduced homogentistic acid in urine. Whether a mild dietary restriction from early life in life would avoid or minimize later complication is not known. I have already mentioned foods which are rich in tyrosine and phenylalanine. Vitamin C as much as 1 gram per day is recommended for older children and adults. The mild antioxidant nature of the ascorbic acid helps to retard the process of conversion of homogentistic acid to the polymeric material that is deposited in the cartilaginous tissue. Limited use of nitisinone has been reported. Nitisinone is an inhibitor of an enzyme 4 hydroxyphenyl pyruvate di dioxygenase which mediates the formation of the homogentistic acid. As a result of this, homogentistic acid is formed less. Urinary homogentisate excretion was markedly reduced by the use of nitisinone, but safety of the prolonged use is still an open question. Older individuals may require removal of the lumbar discs. Hip, shoulder or knee joint replacement may be necessary. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any questions, please comment below. Do subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like my video.